Hey Sagittarius, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. We're going to get started with a uh, mediumship training deck card. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius? And we have intuitive walking. Okay, so I feel like this is really getting out in nature and just walking where your intuition is telling you to walk and this is where you'll get downloads and messages but this could be somebody that receives a message and shares with you when they're intuitive walking but let's see what it has to say everything in life is in the process of constant movement and change it's how the universe works Intuition naturally flows and moves, but at times we unconsciously hinder the flow and get stuck in our rational minds. Let's get the intuitive flow going again by simply going for a walk. When intuition is, access, is accessed and has the freedom to move, it can be power, a powerful tool that can build and strengthen the bridge between the two realms. One of the ways to get your intuition to flow seamlessly is through intuitive walking, which is a form of mindfulness meditation. This unique practice gives us an opportunity to slow down our mind chatter long enough to enable intuition and spirit to communicate more clearly. When you walk consciously, you're walking and thinking in your head. With intuitive walking, which happens through mindfulness meditation, you become more aware of your own body and surroundings. It keeps you in the powerful present moment. By practicing intuitive walking, you'll start to sense a feeling of lightness, calmness, and freedom as you learn to follow where your intuition guides you. Today, take time out and go for an intuitive walk, whether it's in a park, a forest, or any other peaceful place outdoors. As you walk, simply count each time your foot touches the ground. Count from one to 10, then start again. Soon you'll notice how your thinking mind becomes quieter as intuitive information begins to surface from the quiet stillness. So I definitely feel like this is something that everyone can do. And I feel like this could be, you know, the gateway to really connecting to your intuition more deeply and to where you are receiving more messages and being able to really get that guidance from spirit all right we're going to get a messages from heaven card let's see what comes out for sagittarius okay someone needs your support can you help them we will guide you so this uh, white feather may be significant to you. Um, it's number 35. That, that may also be significant to you. What I'm getting here is that there may be, this may be of significance in the sense that you resonate with seeing white feathers to know that your angels are present, your past on loved ones. Okay, so I also feel like there may be... Um, someone that you know needs your help but you just don't know how to help them and i feel like spirit is saying go for this walk we'll guide you and we will send you messages so that you're able to um, understand how you can help this person i also feel like you may need support and they are really showing you that they are here to support you this could be passed on loved ones, your guardian angels, your ancestors, divine spirit guides, um, archangels. It's all different. You know, we all have a collaborative team that supports us. All right, so let's get a talking to heaven card and we'll see what else comes out. What else do we have for Sagittarius? I have a new understanding. So I feel like this is something that they want to share with you. I feel like this is from a past on loved one that basically may have believed a certain way when they were um, in the physical realm. But now that they're in this spiritual realm, it's like there's a new understanding and they want to share that with you. They want to give you that insight. And I feel like it's somebody that had kind of um, very fundamental and strict beliefs. And I feel like that's how you would know who I'm speaking of. 
Um, if not, then that, that part of the message is not for you. So it won't be for everybody, I'm sure. All right, what else do we have for Sagittarius? What's going on here? And we have justice, fair judgment, and um, fair, you know, like not having any bias here. So I definitely feel like this is about cause and effect. This could be about the, you know, something going on with the justice system that you may be needing to help someone or support them. But I also feel like this is really just understanding um, cause and effect and karma. And I feel like this is something that maybe either you haven't thought of much or this is a new understanding that a past on loved one wants to share with you to give you that insight. All right, what else do we have? And we have the Four of Swords, so earned rest. So I definitely feel like there is... Um, messages that will come through either in your dreams or when you are taking that time out. I also feel like you, um, there is some rest and rejuvenation that you need to uh, make time for. What else do we have? What's the challenge here? And we have the devil, destructive indulgence. So I feel like there is, um, this may be you're needing to help someone that's going through this. And it's like, maybe this is something that you've never experienced before, never dealt with addiction or something of that nature. So it's very hard for you to relate, but you want to help in some way. This could also be you. You could be, um, you know, kind of at a crossroads where this path of um, substance or any type of toxic um, things going on in your environment that you're attached to, you may be at a place where it's going to either go really downhill or it will, um, you know, or you're letting it go. Okay. So this could definitely be, um, anything that makes you feel bound and, um, stuck. What's the advice from spirit here? And we have the Page of Swords, Strategic Solutioning. <laughs> and I feel like this is about having a conversation. I feel like this could be a message that you get from, um, from your past on loved one. It could also be um, a conversation that you're having with this person that needs your support. This could also be you, someone confronting you or having a conversation about the roads that you may be about to take. So what's the outcome here? And we have the three of wands, notable growth. So I feel like, I feel like this conversation is really going to change the path, change the future. And I feel like this is where we're seeing, um, you know, this information really being affecting things here in, in the physical realm. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands, Grateful Togetherness. So I do feel like family coming together to help this person is going to be crucial. And this may be you. All right. But I'm definitely, I'm feeling like it's somebody outside of you. It could be a family member, a friend, could be your romantic partner. Um, it's could be it's somebody that's close to you that you are really feeling the need to support them through this challenging time that they're going through. But it's like you have to realize that they have to do this for themselves. So I know that it's a very delicate situation and you want to make sure that you are are putting the right foot forward with this situation. All right. Let's clarify, what is this justice card? And we have the Ace of Coins, New Abundance. So I feel like you may be asked to help somebody that is, you know, this could be about contributing money to a fund for, um, for legal representation. This could be about bailing somebody out. Um, I definitely feel like this is what's being asked of you. Um, either by this person or by other family members or friends. 
and I feel like there's something that is making you feel like, I don't think that I can financially support this just because that's a risk that's too high here. But we'll see what else comes out. Show me this Four of Swords. And we have the Three of Coins, Building Foundations. So I definitely feel like there are, you know, there are things that need to be I'm getting with these books here that there's things that need to be researched about how you can contribute. I feel like you need to collaborate with others. This shouldn't all be on your shoulders. This is working together with others to bring in this support. Show me that devil in the challenge position. And we have the four of swords again. So I definitely feel like this is something about how can you help this person release this devil energy? How can you help them to heal from what they've been through? Because sometimes it's not about what they're doing. It's why are they doing it? You know, what what traumas are they trying to run from? And, and I feel like how can you help them heal that or at least open the door for them to see that healing is possible? Show me this page of swords. And we have the King of Swords. And look, it's like the justice. I feel like there is a conversation. Maybe this is appealing to a judge or a lawyer. Um, I feel like this is all about understanding that um, I'm feeling like um, with that page showing like a little child, I feel like the approach is that you know, this is a first time, I'm getting this like first time offender and, you know, has a bright future ahead of them. So, you know, this is um, a wake up call for them. That's what I'm getting here. Show me this three of wands. And we have the king of wands. Dependably goal oriented. So I definitely feel like like there this could be a lawyer in the situation that's like you know this person has a bright future ahead of them again and um, this is their wake-up call and they're going to change their path now okay I kept I kept shuffling but here's what's at the bottom of the deck four of cups arrogant wastefulness but I see this as dumping out this um, substance which if this is substance abuse, I feel like that's what's going to happen here. All right. So I'm also getting that there is definitely more than just you involved in this. And I feel like, you know, this isn't you needing to be the ultimate leader in the situation, but I do feel like a lot of this is going to be on your shoulders with that three of wands and the king of king of wands i feel like um you know this is about being really truthful and understanding what you can take on don't take on any more than what you can to keep on track with your own life all right i'm also feeling like a grandfather may have um a huge impact in the situation and it could have been somebody that was in the military okay all right what guidance do we have for Sagittarius and we have this one here and it says strength you are being guided by the cosmos stay strong a positive outcome is assured and I feel like you need to take that to the bank like really um, have faith and trust that this is going to turn out well or in the favor in the way that you would like it to okay and we have this one here i think it goes this way choice by staying conscious in your thoughts you guide your journey in the direction of choice let's get one more and we have this one here Wisdom, see your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. So I definitely feel like um, this King of Swords and King of Wands, this is like high wisdom 
I feel like um, there is counsel that you're going to need to trust, but I also feel like you're going to get wisdom with this new understanding coming from someone that is passed on or an ancestor, guardian, angel. I definitely feel like you're going to get a download that's going to be crucial to how you support this person. So those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And remember, the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.